Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now, when last we left off, we uh, had cleared off the Deacons of the Deep and uh, the Cathedral of the Deep by killing the Deacons of the Deep. That's probably the better way to put it. And uh, we had returned to the Crucifixion Woods. And we were about to head into probably one of the more hated areas in the game, which is Farron Keep. The reason Farron Keep is hated is very, very simple. It's basically... it's basically Blight Town. It's, it's just a poisonous, sludgy swamp, basically. That's Farron Keep. Ooh, Exiled Greatsword. That's a very nice weapon that I will never use. And two Homeward Bones. Now if I come down over here... Oh. Uh, okay. Yep, never mind. That's, uh, kind of over by where we fought that, uh, that Black Knight in the previous, <laughs> in the previous video. Now, for those of you who are like, wow, you, you kind of ended that last video off in a very suspenseful manner, because <laughs> right as I was getting invaded and then ganked by two, uh, non-invasion NPCs, uh, I did end up finishing the fight and killing both of them. Well, granted, I think one was dead before, well, the invader and uh, one of the two NPCs was dead before I finished the, uh, the video, but I did manage to kill the other one, too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rest here. Like I said, I'm not going to level up until I hit my 20,000 souls. And here's Farron Keep. Now, before I progress through, uh, I need to find equipment that is highly... Well, first of all, I need to see if anybody's trying to come get me. Nope. Alright, I need to switch this out for the Poison Bite Ring. And I definitely need to uh, put on some uh, weapons or some uh, clothes that are better suited for poison, because this whole thing is just... It's, it's just poison. Uh, leather gauntlets seem to be okay. Wait, actually, hold up. Nope, 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 those those are worse, actually. Good job, me. Uh, cell sword armor. Uh, that's not bad at all. Actually increases my poise. Let's see, how about the cell sword hood? Brigand hood. Didn't I get the cell sword hood? I did. Okay, it doesn't do better against poison. Uh, Xanthuous crown. Alright, I seem to be doing pretty well for poison resistance, as as is, actually. Let's do the brigand hood. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. How about the cell sword gauntlets? Nope. It's a bad idea. Alright, I can put these on, though. Let's see, 21. Can I beat 21? Right, these are 22. Those are 22. Freaking gauntlets are 20. Okay, we'll, we'll make do with that. Let's see. Uh, cell sword trousers? Not better for poison resist. How much is this? Okay. I think I'll keep what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep on what I got. Yep, so the whole thing is basically poisonous sludge. Uh, up ahead is an enemy that actually appears in Elden Ring. And then, yeah, the whole thing is just a big, giant, poisonous swamp. We're gonna come over here. Try to kill some of these guys without... ...getting poisoned. We get ourselves a ragged mask. Now, the good news is we can at least run through this area. without getting slowed. That will, uh, that will not be the case the deeper we get, uh, into the swamp. Alright. Let me see. I think I can do away- oh man, I only have one purple moss clump? Ooh, that is not going to do. 
probably gonna get poisoned here, but here we go. I'm just gonna run in, grab myself a Titanite Shard. And hopefully get back to land before I get poisoned. Kind of like with most poison areas, you just kind of got to take it slow. There are a lot of really good items around here, but although my poison resistance is good, I'm not really looking forward to finding out how good. I would love to find some... Uh, some uh, more uh, poisonous herb things. Purple purple moss clumps. I, I'd, I'd love that. Ooh, got an Estus shard though, so that's nice. Almost got poisoned again. This is kind of one of the reasons why people are like, this isn't a very good level. Because the whole thing is just a giant ugly poison swamp. There's not really anything around, either. It's just kind of this formless mess. It's a whole lot of meh. But if you get, if you manage to get through it, uh, you get a pretty good boss fight for it. Uh, a pretty good and uh, also a pretty difficult boss fight, I should say. Here. Aha! Purple Moss Clumps. I can be a little bit more gung ho about exploration now. Alright. Well, on the upside, poison doesn't seem to really do that much. Oh boy. This is a bad idea. Alright, I'm running back the other way. As much as I would love to get poisoned or uh, cursed, I would not actually love to get cursed all that much. Ay ay ay! Yikes. That was bad. Okay. That's the only downside about dodging through the uh, deeper parts of the muck. Yeah! Yeah, don't, don't, don't get cursed. Alright, well, on the upside, I, uh... Well, now I know that uh, my poison resist stat is pretty frickin' good. I mean, trade-off right now, damage-wise, is, uh... Yeah, I'll take it. Obviously, the movement is not great. I'm probably gonna homeward bone out. Oh, good. I, I, I went to a place that, uh... So, is this... Li is it literally just a corner? Really? Okay. Nope, I can get through. <laughs> Maybe worth asking, was it worth it? The answer is maybe no. But hey, a platform, so that's good, I guess. I don't even know where this leads. Ah, okay. Oh boy. Oh 
Wow, that that mist really uh, kind of fills up the area. Kind of to an absurd degree. They, uh, they almost kind of got me there. How many more of these guys are there? Please say not many. Uh, I can see at least one. Ooh, and a big guy off in the distance. Ooh. Oh, good, there's like four of them. Repair powder. Very nice. Alright, got a golden scroll out of all this. Uh, I can't tell if this is a mimic or not. Oh, thank goodness. And, uh, and a dress. Well, if I, if I ever want to pretend I'm, uh, I'm not a man, I, I now can. Hmm. You know, from here, it may or may not be best for me to just homeward bone out. Uh... I really don't know if there's much more I can do from here. I would like to kind of get up here and see what's going on, but... Yeah, if I head deeper into the swamp, I'm going to have a hard time. Alright, is there a way to get up there? Kind of looks like there ought to be. Maybe you should think about putting on a ring of sacrifice. So there are three fires in this area. There's one. There's another one. I need to put all three fires out in order to progress to the next area and be able to fight the boss. What? Wow. Wow. Ay ay ay. Uh huh. I don't do nearly as much damage to that dude as I want. Two more homeward bones. Alright. I am assuming there's going to be more of those guys here. I'm, I'm actually going to take this purple moss clump. Alright, so putting out the fires is actually pretty easy. All you gotta do, come over here, put your hand over it, fire done. That's one fire dealt with. One down, two to go. As I said, I am going to homeward bone out. Yep, so once I light all three braziers, that door is going to open and it will lead to the boss. Which will get me to that uh, building right there. Alright. Part of me wonders if I should risk this. Uh... I mean, I know roughly where the second one is. I don't know if I can get to it from here, though. Okay. Yep. Second fire is over here. Can I, 
Can I see the third one from here? Ah, third fire is all the way over there. Did I do the last one first? Okay. Well, that's good. Now I know. Yeah. Uh, here's where I wish there was a map and I could put waypoints on them. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm homeward boning out. Uh, I didn't actually mean to go to the shrine. Although, uh, I wonder if I can spend enough souls to get what I need. Let's see. Those are 1,000 apiece. Those are two. I'm guessing this is like a little bit more. This is dumb of me, but I really need to get into that tower. Okay, so there are 3,000. Let's see, so this'll, these two will get me pretty close. Again, utterly absurd. Utterly absurd that this, this item costs this much. 20k souls for a key is ridiculous. Ah, how? Ashen one. Okay. But anything for our friend uh, Sigurd. Assuming, of course, that Shithea doesn't murder him. Ah, it is good. Uh, right. Because this game is kind of stupid, uh, for whatever reason, I have to go through here. See if I can get into Firelink Shrine without tussling with anybody. Okay, good. I really don't know why the game puts like a fog wall around Firelink Shrine. Maybe it's to make sure that, uh. Ooh. Maybe it's to, uh, maybe it's to make sure that you don't accidentally drag an enemy in here and accidentally ruin your game. Anyway, this is what it leads to. Now, if we're really really good at rolling. We can uh, get that item at the bottom. That was the sound of, uh, of the NPC locking us in the tower. Ooh, but I get a Firekeeper soul if I come up here. If only I could still use those to upgrade the Estus. Are there any items around here? Doesn't look like it. This is a really fun game of Ring Around the Rosie, though. Oh, never mind. Less fun. Much less fun. So we'll head down this way. And here's our NPC. Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. 
frickin' patches. Ooh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. Besides, you're surrounded by... <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the good news. I think we have a way. Assuming, of course, I don't fall to my death. Oh, there's an item over there. Of course, Patches thinks this is wonderful because I'm surrounded by ladies. Oh, are these dead fire keepers? These are dead fire keepers, I think. Ooh, an Estus ring. Yep, that's uh, that one's getting used. That means that I'll heal more with uh, each Estus charge. So uh, we say yes to that. Well, uh, Patches, of course, is not the brightest, and I don't think he realized there was another way out. So we're gonna go say hi to Patches and be all like, "Hey, asshole." Has anybody called you an asshole yet, asshole? Have you noticed that you are in fact an asshole, asshole? Are you just gonna keep on calling me an asshole? Yes, asshole. Your name is now asshole. Patch is the asshole. Oh, of course, he, he doesn't stay long. I get to that without dying. This may take some doing. I'm gonna take a very precise jump and I maybe die from the fall anyway. What? <laughs> what? I literally landed on the platform. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I landed on the platform and I still died. Lame. Alright, I need to look up how to find him again. Freaking patches. I need to figure out where he is inside of a uh, fire link. Oh, and I was embered too. That, that's annoying. Granted, it's not hard for me to get that ember back, but still super freaking annoying. All right. Yep, here he is. So I can purchase items from him. For example, uh, I can purchase Siegward's armor, his uh, Katarina uh, gauntlets, armor, helm, boots, and shield. I need to be able to purchase all of these in order to get uh, uh, Siegward out of the well. Very annoying. Quite annoying, in fact. Now that will cost approximately, let's see, uh, 65 plus 4, that's 11k, uh, plus 7, 18k souls to get all of it. 18k to get all of Seaguard's armor. <sighs> Might be easier just to not give it to him. Just to buy it and then not give it the C word. Anyway, now we're gonna head into Fair and Keep for real.
Alright, now here is our second gate. It's gonna be guarded by some of these weird Cthulhu looking things. Maybe that one I fought was just really frickin' it. I guess, I guess I just fought the really powerful one first. Anyway, those two were pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and put out flame number two. We'll get another cutscene. We're, we're gonna go ahead and skip that one. We know what's happening. Alright, if I move over this way... Nope. I can see a platform. Uh-huh. I, uh, I see you there, bro. Could, could I just... Yeah, there we go. Can I just lock onto these guys, please? Place is very creepy and still. Rotten pine resins. So that will apply poison to my weapon. <clears throat> now we'll just sort of head on. Let me see if I can see the last fire from here. Yep, so that's where we want to be. Now, there are these big bastards walking around. We really don't want to get in their way. This is the only guy. Sneaky, sneaky, and what? What? Oh, come on! Are you are you kidding me? I mean, look, it even did the freaking backstab. <laughs> Is he gonna just ever stop trying to... What?! Are you done yet? Are you done yet, man? Are you fucking done? Dear Lord. That dude was freaking obnoxious. All right, well, I got a Titanite Shard out of it, so I guess that's all right. How many Titanite Shards do I have by now? It's worth checking. Ten. Okay, so I need... I still need two more if I want to get my Cell Sword Twin Blades. Uh, up to par. At some point, somebody will just outright sell them. No. Oh no, this is not good. Oh no, oh no. Oh, this really is not good. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, actually, I'll, I'll... Okay, uh, how many of them are there? I'm, I'm glad they're all really stupid, and they don't seem to be able to get up here. Somehow. Are you, are you gonna? Um. How about you come over here instead of doing whatever it is you're doing? I mean, could your AI be more broken? I want to know, can, can your AI be more broken? Hey! You did it! 
Good job. So amazing. Alright. Uh, I don't really see the point of going in there. So I'm just going to try to quickly lickety split my way over here. Alright. Last fire is over here. That's really the only problem with this area. It's it's all there aren't a lot of discernible landmarks. It's kind of kind of got to wander in circles. Wah! Hi, hi. More purple moss clumps. Uh, I'm good with that. So I have five. I almost have enough for. Some of Siegmeier's armor. Some of it. Alright, we're going to skip this as well. As I said, we know what's happening. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, please don't shoot at me while I uh, slot my daggers. But hey, I get through this gauntlet of uh, these weird... Plump head squid things. I, uh, I earned the right. I get to the bonfire. It's right there. I can see it. Oh, yep. Yep. I'm, I'm not a fan of your poison breath. Okay, why are you going to get two feet away from me and then just chicken out? Seriously, you got like two feet away, and then you're like, nope, never mind, I can't do it. Hmm, that worked out. Got most of the health I lost back. And reach the bonfire. Go ahead and save here. And we'll continue on. Now that's the door that we tried to get into. It is now completely opened. Uh, do I want to risk this? Probably a halfway decent chance that some of the crap I need is in there. There's a lot of. Oh, but there's a big boy too. Oh, there's a freaking crab in there. Oh yeah, no, that's that's not gonna fly. A lot of slugs. They're uh. They're guarding a, and they're guarding a uh, a bone shard. So they want a little uh, extra Estus. Hooray. be worth it to explore just a hair more. Kind of a good thing that I took the long way around. Oh wow. So you're hiding in there. Alright, I just need one more Titanite shard. go climb this.
super fun. Okay, I come in here. Again, really hoping I find just just that last little Titanite shard. Ooh, hi! Uh, no. I refuse to let you get away. Twinkling Titanite, very nice. Alright. What a perfect circle I've run myself in. Now here I can join yet another covenant. This is a covenant to the old wolf of Farron. I can jump on here and head upstairs. Where we will find uh, a very familiar enemy memory serves. Which it do. That, on the other end, is an old asylum demon. Very similar to the one that we fought in the original Dark Souls. I think the last of his kind, actually. Oh! He has grab attacks now. <laughs> He's got a few new moves this time around. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have died there, but... I decided the best way to get away was, of course, panic rolling backwards. This, this is an old habit that really dies hard, and Dark Souls will... Well, every From Software game, frankly, will punish you for it, like, endlessly. You almost never want to dodge roll back. You should always go to one of the two sides, get behind the enemy, instead of going backwards. You'll probably just be happier if you do it that way. But no, 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 no. That's too easy for me. I prefer to suffer. Now, here's hoping I can get these souls back. If I kill this guy, maybe I'll get enough that I'll actually get to be able uh, to get Siegmeier's stuff back. Ay ay ay. He always attacks, like, just a bit faster than I expect. do like a 360 degree turn like mostly just uh, on the attacks where it's like soul of a stray demon there we go we're gonna pretend uh, we're gonna pretend that I did that on the first try. Okay. A great axe. Maybe a titanite shard? No, just remember.
How do I get to that? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little love in it. Um, there isn't like a place to jump off early, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, but that doesn't mean... Okay. Uh, there's a ledge to jump down. I'm very curious about this. Oh, yeah. Ha-ha. Ho-ho. Very nice. I'm so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Uh, S-M-A-R-T. <clears throat> Whoa. How many crystal lizards are these? No, no. Mr. Crystal Lizard, just welcome your death. Just welcome your death. Just welcome it. Cool, large Titanite shards. Uh, and we get a dead dragon and a lightning spear. Kind of similar to the one that I'm assuming Gwyn used to uh, kill some of these dudes. A Dragon Crest Shield. Hi. No. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Heavy gem. Where is this? And a place to fall down to my death. What? Where did all these guys come from? Also, where did their audio go? Oh, and now there's a golden pilgrim. Okay. Well, I had to try. Are these guys just randomly coming back? Where did, th where did they all come from? Nice try. All right, well, I, I figured out how to get, oh. Figured out how to lose a lot of my health. Figured out how to get up to this area. The dead dragon, now, uh, now I just need to figure out, is there a way to get over to that one ledge? Because this isn't actually where I was trying to get to. So this was just a completely separate adventure then. I, I didn't even need to do it. Um, okay. Fun. Uh, okay. That's a uh, certain death. I don't really want to use a Homeward Bone, but looks like I'm going to have to. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about all that. Okay. Uh, actually... Can I burn the... Do I have to do this at Firelink? Alright, I do have to do this at Firelink. All right, probably what we're going to end up doing, um, I'm probably going to get to the bonfire before the, the final boss, and then I'm going to call it. Uh, burn an undead bone shard. Hooray, we did it. Oh, dang. I didn't mean to...
Probably the keep ruins are going to be quicker. I just need one Titanite shard. And maybe we'll find that off the clock, so to speak. Alright. Don't want to go that way. See an item over here. I think there's like one item over here. It's obviously a bunch over there. So we're just gonna head straight through here. And be careful there. Are some of these uh some of those uh bird dudes are around here. We wanna go up, not down, so we can uh, take out the bird. is very good in this game. Anyway, now that they're all dead, we can come over here and claim what I hope is a Titanite Shard. Nope, another Shriving Stone. Cool. Alright, we're going to run up here, and we're going to see Dark Raids. Fighting a bunch of uh, fighting a bunch of the weird squid people. The dark wraith. Now, if we were to get into a fight with these guys, I don't like my odds. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here instead, and we're going to take the bonfire. We're going to head over in this direction. I see some uh, enemies here. What was that? Wolf's blood, something or other. Okay, uh, you're gonna let me backstab you, right? Oh, yes, you will. And another Titanite Shard! Perfect! That will allow me to get my Cell Sword Twin Blade up to plus three. And, uh, oh look! Here's that Crystal Lizard that we saw earlier. Let's go kill it. It's pissed at us, I know. Two Titanite scales, very nice. And we find ourselves back over here at that uh, gate with the Black Knight. Very nice. Interestingly enough, you kill the Black Knight, he uh, he actually will come back. Not that it matters. Oh, and we almost have enough souls uh, to get Sigurd's uh, equipment back. In fact, we're really dang close. Um, now we can head down over here. We can get that item over there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab the items and I'm going to Homeward Bone out. Atonement. And a Hollow Gem. Yeah, we'll go to the Shrine Bonfire. I think it's exactly 18k. Uh, I'm going to use one of these just to be safe. <clears throat> oh, 
Alright, so we can buy Patch's shield, his helmet, his armor, his gloves, and the leggings. And he also has poison arrows, very nice. Anyway. So now we can get these back to see uh, the Siegward. I have just enough time to get this done. Uh, we'll lose a little health. It's no, no biggie. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to go to the cleansing chapel. We're just basically gonna toss this stuff down the well. It'll allow us to get Siegward out. Now we don't necessarily need to get him out. Uh, but it will come in handy later on, because we can use him for a boss fight. Not a hard boss fight to do solo. Cool. So Siegward's free. We can go about our business. Uh, actually, nope, I want to go back to Firelink. Probably pop off a few souls uh, in a mad attempt to uh, upgrade my Cell Sword Twin Blades. Let's see how high I can get them. Ah, tis good, wasn't it? All right, where are the twin blades? Right over here. Okay, yep, more than enough. Uh, probably I take. <laughs> yeah, just, just let me, let me get to my souls. Uh, I'm gonna use both of these because I'm stupid. That should ah, give me more than enough to level it up two more times. Aha! I didn't even get it up to plus four. Pretty, I go. <laughs> perfect. Actually, that wasn't stupid of me. It was perfect. Alright, so we can do away with this, and I can go ahead and put this on. Now, the added boon of these, of course, is that you can do uh, dual blade attacks and do double the damage. They're pretty quick attacks, and uh, they're pretty dang useful. Anyway. You can go back to the Farron Keep perimeter. Bonfire back. And uh, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a blast. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you and have a wonderful day.